if you don't know what you like and what feels good and importantly what doesn't sometimes I feel like consent can almost feel a bit meaningless like I had a lot of sex I didn't like and was really uncomfortable when I was god up until sex therapy it's like 28 years um for a long time and I consented yeah I mean I didn't say no and I would never say most experiences like some of them were not good but you know most of the time it it was consensual it was I'm not like blaming the other person but what is consent if like you don't know what your options are when you don't know that it could be different when you don't know that you could have much more pleasure you don't know that you can say no because you're not confident enough to so I think really a lot of this um the consent stuff really comes back to being able to explore yourself and your own pleasure alone first and foremost and getting confident in your body and your pleasure before being with another person um because I think that is really key to them being able to advocate for what you want and importantly say no you're not going to get rid of porn like por- the porn industry is huge the industry is worth 100 billion globally and these sites receive more website traffic in 2020 than twitter instagram netflix zoom pinterest and linkedin combined <laughs> yeah you're not getting rid of porn tomorrow okay but so I think the problem with having these very like blanket, um, these very kind of uh, dogmatic conversations, um, dogmatic conversations about porn, is that we don't then have a proper conversation around the real issue at hand is how do we acknowledge the fact that porn is a part of our world now, that there is a lot of free porn online, and that young people are probably going to be exposed to it. So first and foremost, educate young people. Porn literacy is so fundamental. Like if young, like have young kids prepared. If you see this uh, um, kind of often like violent sex or something, you know, in pornography um, online, know that it's not real. Know that it's like, you know, you don't want to learn how to drive through watching Fast and Furious in the same, I'm totally stealing that from, from Vex Ashley who said it at one of my events. But it's true, you don't. That's not a good way to learn to drive. It's, it's fantasy. In the same way, like, don't learn how to have sex through pornography. And we need to prepare young people to, to really to know that and to know that these are kind of these are exaggerated, extreme examples of sex, first and foremost. Um, so I think that is where we have to get kind of much more. That's where like nuance in the conversation about pornography, I think, is so necessary. We can acknowledge that it has m- negative ramifications because there's a lot of free porn online and it's often very misogynistic, whilst also acknowledging that, OK, it's still probably going to be a reality for a while. So we can at least prepare people like for, for prepare young people for the possibility of seeing it.